It's early in the morning in San Francisco and Susan and I are walking to meet a real estate agent at a prospective location for Spin, our ping pong club. How are you? I'm Jennifer. Hi, Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's an old bank, it's extraordinary piece of architecture. Look at this. Is that the event spin? That'll be the main hall, yeah, you'll see. Oh my God. Susan and I are business partners. This is amazing. Although we're together for almost six years now, whenever we're in public, I still can't help feeling like I'm her sidekick. Smile. Can you imagine a spin here? I can, I can. Should we go to the hotel? We can. <laughs> The only time I feel truly equal with Susan is when we're alone. And that is becoming a problem. I read that jellyfish are biologically immortal. They can live theoretically forever. I'm on my way to a job site. Stefano put it this morning when I left. He said, make money, baby. We have a baby coming. This is the entry foyer. The stairs are gonna be black. All of the walls are gonna be a white crocodile. The ceiling is gonna be beaded. So the house is gonna be like glitzy and masculine at the same time. I live for a construction site. It means something's happening, something's changing. It's gonna be new, it's gonna be exciting. Let me get these measurements down and then we'll discuss if you want me to measure anything just for the back burner. Maybe just the master bedroom. Well, that was easy. Now, for my toughest client yet, Stefano Menino. I made the mistake of handing off this project to him. I think he believed he could handle it, but the apartment is a fucking disaster, and there's a reason why I get paid a lot of money to do this. I need to take back control and get this apartment finished. My due date is in six weeks, and by then, this apartment really needs to look like a home. Oh my god. This is our kitchen. It's completely ripped out. Cut the tiles, rip off these tiles and these tiles. The toilet bowl, I want to make sure that it could come up to meet the floor. What do you think? It's crazy. The whole fucking apartment is mangled. It's a lot more than we expected. You know we're not going to finish on time, right? I'm dealing with all this by myself. I'm not a construction worker. I was taught to use my head to make money, not my hands. And then on top of it all, you're all pregnant. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I needed to get to mayor. You know, things are getting out of control. And the problem is, is that he's in over his head and he doesn't want to admit it. I'm just going to have to put my foot down. I'm just going to have to take control back. I'm not saying that you couldn't have done a good job, but I just think we're under a time frame. I've done this a million times. It's very easy. You know what? Everybody has their own way of doing things. Okay. It's not like I want to be capable of doing it. It's a bunch of phone calls. It could drive by the apartment and check in. This is easy breezy for me. It's 600 square feet. It's a, it's a breeze. You know what? Why get involved? I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm well, sorry. I'm going to do great because I'm great at this. Don't. I don't have to go there tonight. You don't have to go anywhere ever again. All right. Uh, no, good. So I'm going to work out tonight. Everybody's here. How are you, sweetheart? Looking good? My friends, the Broke Ass Game Show trailer is going on MTV tonight. Our budget game show. Yes, yes, yes. Would you want to play this game, man? What's your name? There he is. Your game is on television. It's a challenge. Why do I feel weird right now? Crap. Ass. 20 seconds. Oh, I'm stuck. Broke Ass Game Show. Put me on TV. On my way to another audition, a De Niro flick or some shit. Walk in there, I got like three lines. I'm supposed to be this jock, this big ass lineman, but I'm skinny Derek Gay. Now that I'm on TV, I can do more work and get more success. I know that. So you can't quit now. You gotta push. Uh, I forgot the word. <laughs> uh, 
should have okay, you guys should have okay. So job uh, run over. That was my fault. I apologize. Ooh shit. There was a whole page that I didn't see. Fuck that one up. Fuck that one up, son. I missed one whole line, so you're not gonna get a commission from this gig because I ain't gonna get the gig. So yeah, uh that's uh that's what just happened. You win some and you lose some. I think I lost this one. I think I lost this one. Because I bombed so bad at that audition, I do what any girl does. Addiction. These are the drawings I'm doing for our apartment. This is what the apartment looks like now, and this is what the apartment will look like. And with the extension of the bathroom and the kitchen. In the bedroom, what we're doing is blowing out this closet to make room for the baby. I find this to be very peaceful, I have to say. This calms me. I could draw all day. The whole process completely excites me. Completely. This looks very good. Feels completely different. Let's go into the bathroom. Oh, there's our shower fixture finally. So we're not gonna get the kitchen immediately because I just wanna move in right now and I'll worry about designing the kitchen in the next week or so. It feels like we might actually be able to come back this weekend. How was the gym? Great. I just don't understand how you've been trying to design this kitchen for a month and you still don't have a kitchen that works. You said you didn't care, now you care. After the fact that I worked on it with him for a week as not a pantry, you can't care at this point. You All had to right. care when the caring was, okay. people were listening. Great. Please don't stress me out about anything. What did you just say? If I'm telling you that I'm taking care of the kitchen, do you not trust me that I would do a good job? No, I don't trust you that you would do oh, a good really? job. Oh, really? That's yeah. nice of you to say. Because when I left it up to everybody else in the apartment, everything came out like shit. All right. Everything. All right, so now you're asking me to trust you. You don't trust me. That I went to Pratt Institute, graduated with an architecture degree, I do this for a living, but you're not going to trust me. All right, I, I, you know, about I don't care. Kids. I don't care. I don't care. Skip do the you kitchen, not care? order the kitchen, let me know how much it is. I'll write you a check. You're the boss, I'm the boss. I'll be right out. Everybody wants to have their input. Everybody wants to be heard. But sometimes you just gotta shut the fuck up. You have to get rid of some of my curls. I feel like a country mustard singer. Well, you look like a 70s sex symbol. <laughs> sex symbol in the 70s or just in the 70s? In the 1970s. You must be tired. What's going on with your book? The night. I tried to pull it out and maybe not so much in my face, and um, I couldn't tell by the lighting if I needed any more color or not. I don't know. On your lips? Yeah, definitely on my lips. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to stick around? No, I, I got to go. There's no reason for me to stay. I don't feel comfortable when Susan's in her movie star persona. Um, feel weird. Can I get eight back, please? Thanks. So I'm meeting my dad for breakfast to give me shitty advice, but I've learned how to counterbalance his bad advice or translate it into like advice that I can work with, sort of. Hey, Dad. Hello, son. Oh, so I'm feeling very shitty because part of my problem with Susan is 
occasionally feeling like her sidekick. You know, the boy toy, the sidekick, all this stuff. Like, I, I mean, I, honestly, the boy toy I thought was flattering initially. <laughs> and I try to live up to that. But now it's like five or six years have passed, and then that's my fucking life, and that's not okay. So what? Who gives a shit? The quality of it all is in your mind, by the way. No matter how much success you have, you're the only one who's going to decide whether or not you're a success or not. And let's see what you have. You have a really interesting relationship that has lasted a long time and has really been good. You have a book that is published and is being sold on Amazon. You've got a, a business that you started that was successful from day one. Listen, I think I'm, I feel successful as a human being. I'm happy. I'm just in a place right now where uh, creatively, I'm, I'm struggling to find something that really turns me on. But pushing her away isn't, isn't going to help helping you. I'm not trying to push her away, but I'm trying to do what I think I have to do for me. At the podcast with my friends, you know Chloe. <laughs> You know, menuing. Hey! Hey, slugger! You got a little MTV show, right? Yeah, a little something, something. I, I think I've seen some highlights of how to shit on a brother without really trying. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was all right. That was good. I liked, I liked that a That's lot. That's what they got you for. The white boys got the mic and you holding up signs. You should be up front. Now I feel kind of good and bad at the same time. Like, yeah, that's right. All right, I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Ranting and Raving with Yamanika and Friends, Side Eye Chloe. I am Chloe. Today we have Derek Gaines, comedian. Derek is super single. He's so afraid of commitment, it's not even funny. Ugh, but hot. Mm. Why don't you want to get married? Because it's just too much work. I got comedy. It's going to be so much work that I ain't going to be able to dedicate to a chick and her problems. No man has ever gotten to the top of any craft by themselves. Mm. So sometimes trust only comes in a single place. It can't be in, in a group of many. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing that you'll find in any good relationship. I got Especially you. a male female relationship. That's what we're talking about the essence of. That's nice. It's called trust. It's deep. You know? It's deep. But I could give a fuck about it. And that's why you're holding up the plaque in the background on the shitty game show. You're not up front. <laughs> I'm getting shot fired, man. Jesus. I'm a villain. I'm a no. villain because I'm because I'm driven. Okay. No. It's not about being driven. I'm driven too. Sometimes you need a person who you can go to her like she's kind of vacation from everything else that's going on in your daily life. You need to be able to show your vulnerability to someone. If I fall in love with a Halle Berry at one point, thank God. But right now, I'm, I'm cool. You see clearly there's a generational gap with how men perceive women. It's much worse than this generation. That's derogation. So, the counter is in. So excited. It feels like an apartment and right on time with the baby coming. Nico's doing yoga. You're doing yoga? You're very good at that yoga pose. Ah, what a you difference. Love, you love it? <laughs> it looks amazing, babe. Nice, the fabric. You did an amazing job. And it all came together. As crazy as it was, pregnant, living at my mother's, it all worked out. I'm really impressed. You did a great job. Will you ever not trust me again? I will never not trust you again. I'm happy that we're moving forward. I think that's crazy. Like, we're going to be having a baby in like 30 days. We're going to be in the delivery room together. Yeah, so. Yet another crazy thing that we're going to go through together. I'm not worried. No, I'm not worried. I mean, I think it's exciting that, like, all the stuff that we've gone through and whatever, and then it's just, this is just yet another wild thing. It's going to be the wildest. You think? Oh, yeah. What are you most excited about the, the delivery room? Well, I think about is the first time I'm going to lay eyes on my child. You know, it's pretty exciting, I guess. It's crazy. And we'll be there together. I think that we're going to learn about each other's strengths and weaknesses in, in, in a new way. Like, I could totally 
was out screaming, crying, like, who the hell knows? Oh. You don't think you would freak out about anything? I'm going to be laughing. <laughs> You're laughing at me? Yes, because that's what you've taught me. Every time I'm in pain or I hurt myself, you laugh at me. Okay. So I'll be doing a lot of laughing. <gasps> <laughs> I love you. This thing about it with Chloe and Chloe's dad said, I don't know what I always make me the villain. I'm just chasing a dream. It's like a girl could be there to run with me, but I'm fast to doing it by myself. But I, I, I don't know. I'm still acting like I'm not on TV, but I'm on it. I'm achieving my goal. So it's like maybe I could have a girl with me to, to share it with me. Rosella hit me back, and I'm like, I kind of like her because she was cool, liberal, feminist opinion, I guess. But she, she was a cool girl. Like, yeah, I'll take her somewhere nice. <laughs> That'd be great. So we're here, right? Smile, be happy. Chicken is coming. Game time. You know how to live. Where's my phone? Find your phone. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, here. Okay, you have to dance now. What? You have to dance. I'm not good at dancing anymore. No, you said you're... you're no, that's what the, I told you to take the camera out for. Oh, crap. You Christ. have to show me. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. When I'm by myself, I feel like dancing. When I'm with company, I don't. It's weird. That doesn't mom. make any sense, because you're a performer. I am. <laughs> but, you know, right now I'm just Derek Gaines. I don't feel like doing shit today. Like nothing. Make a long story short, I uh, wound up chilling with Rosella last night, went to her apartment. And after we finished, I didn't tell her this to her face. And I know I'm gonna probably have to. But she doesn't do it for me. And I stood up and I just, I just could, I had to leave. I just got out of there. And that's it. That's what I'm good at. I'm good at leaving. That's what I do. And now, it's just a blah day. It's raining. It's fucking awful outside. And I feel stagnant. Like, how do you have a TV show coming out, but you still feel like you ain't doing shit? Our relationship has reached a point where it's important for me to kind of set the record straight for like who you are to me, like what our relationship is. The general public, it just considers me your boy toy. That's not what your life is, that's, that's I deal with story it and whatever, I don't give a fuck. Like who cares if I'm a boy toy. But as a man, I would like to maybe make a mark for myself in this world. Maybe I don't want to be just the boy toy. What you're doing is Framing your life as important because it depends on me. So how is that any different than being a boy toy? Because you are my relationship. You're the person in my life, regardless of your celebrity, who's important to me. And it's just the way it is. You're a man who has so many interesting people in his life, so many interesting things. I'm not the reason your life is important. You're the reason your life is important. And I feel really betrayed that now it's all up to me to make this worthwhile. Now it's my problem. So fucking annoying. Feeling like I love her more than anyone I fucking have ever known, but can't somehow communicate very effectively. It just feels like individual issues, baggage, or kind of clashing with each other.
watching Connected. Make sure you're subscribed to AOL Originals for all new episodes and exclusive behind the scenes footage. Maybe I'll try harder. How come I keep on this chasing? Maybe it's time for a thing. Sinking as we grow, this fear glows on our face. We may show you the darkest sights behind this gate.